हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ शेड्यूल्ड वर्कफ्लो इनसाइड पैबली कनेक्ट सो द आइडिया हियर इज दैट यू वांट टू रन योर वर्कफ्लो ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक डे ऑफ अ मंथ से फर्स्ट ट्यूसडे सेकंड फ्राइडे फोर्थ सैटरडे और समथिंग लाइक दैट फॉर दैट यू नीड टू क्रिएट एन ऑटोमेशन सो दैट योर वर्कफ्लो इज गोइंग टू रन ऑन दैट स्पेसिफिक डे ओनली so let's understand this by taking an example that you are the hr manager of a company and you want to send the salary slips to your employees on every second tuesday of the month for that you need to set up an automation and in this particular video we will be learning the same automation that how to create a scheduled workflow inside pabli connect so that you can send the salary slips to your employees on that specific day only so you can select the specific day as per your requirement and how we can set up this automation you have to come to my screen so welcome back to my screen here we are on the dashboard of pabli connect to to reach the dashboard you need to log into p a b b l y pabli.com from the all apps section you need to select pabli connect and you can reach the dashboard we have also attached the link in the description box and if you are a new user you need to just create a new account by clicking on the sign up free button and you are going to get 100 task free every month now here on the dashboard we need to create a workflow for that click on this plus sign create workflow now here we have to give a name to the workflow so let us give the name as how to create a scheduled workflow inside pabli connect here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create now we can see a trigger window and an action window so pabli connect works on the concept of trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so in this use case we want to create a scheduled workflow inside pabli connect it means we want to send a message or we want to send the notification on a specific day of a month for that we have to just open this trigger window and we have to choose the application name as schedule over here okay so we are going to just schedule our workflow now it is asking how often you want to run your workflow so i want my workflow to run every day and here we have to specify the time so i'm just giving the time as 4:30 am okay so it will be in the utc format so it will be 10 am in the morning and now let's click on save so this particular workflow is scheduled successfully at 4:30 according to the utc time okay now i want to capture the current date for that come to this action step and choose the application name as date and time for matter over here select the action event as current date click on connect and now uh, date and time formatter is connected here now here it is asking for the basic format in which format we want the date out will output will be in the utc format so i want the date in mm dd and yy format so i'm just going to select the same format over here that is mm dd and yy format now include time and response do you want to include the time also you can select it as per your requirement in my case i am just keeping it as false and let's click on save and send test request Okay, and here in the response, we have got today's date in the MM, DD, and YY format. That is tenth of May, twenty twenty-two. Now we want this workflow to run on a specific day. It means on second of Tuesday or on the fourth of Saturday or something like that. For that, we are going to just click on this plus sign, add action step, and we are going to specify the specific date over here. For that, we have to select the application name as number formatter. select the action event as spreadsheet formulas click on connect and now the number formatter is connected over here now here we have to give a formula you can use any spreadsheet formula to get the results here example is also given and even a full list is provided provided over here okay so you can select the formulas as per your requirement various formulas are given over here okay now let's move back to public connect and here i have already specified a formula for this particular integration okay so the formula will be will be date so first we will be capturing the date then we will be finding the weekday on which we want to run the workflow then we will be deducting the weekday from the date and we will be getting the specific day on which we are going to run this particular workflow okay so i'm just going to explain the formula that is the date formula using the calendar okay i'm just opening my calendar from here 
So I want this workflow to run on every second Tuesday. And this particular month, that is May month, is getting started from first, that is on Sunday. So we are going to calculate the Sunday using this particular date. So first we'll be capturing the year, then we'll be capturing the month from the response, then 1 plus num into 7. So num will be the number, second or the third week. So I want this workflow to run on second week, so num will be 2 over here. So 1 plus 2 into 7 will give the result of the Sunday, next coming Sunday after my second Tuesday. So in this way, the uh, date will be captured. So let us enter the formula over here. That is date, year, month, 1 plus num into 7. So first let us map the year. So I'm just going to come to my current date and let us map the current date. So from this particular date, the year will be captured. Then let us give the month over here. So from this particular date, the month will be captured. Then 1 plus number. So in place of number, I want this workflow to run on 2nd of Tuesday. So I'm just giving the number as 2nd of the week. Okay, and 7 is for the 7 days in a week. So let's click on save and send test request. And here in the response, we have got 15th of May 2022. So I'm just going to open the calendar once again and we have got the Sunday. So the coming Sunday after the second Tuesday will be on 15th of May 2022. So it is correct over here. So now we can see that we have got the time zone also along with the date. But for continuing the workflow, I don't want this time zone. So I'm just going to remove this time zone. So click on this plus sign add action step. And here we have to choose the application name as date and time formatter. Select the action event as format date only. Click on connect. Now we are connected. Now here we have to map the date that needs to be formatted. So we want this particular date to be formatted. So we have to map the date over here from the response of number formatter. Now it is asking from format. So the from format will be the same format of this particular date that is YY, MM, DD and along with that the time zone. So it is automatically captured correctly over here. Now we want to format. In which format you want to convert the date? So I want this date to be converted into MM, DD and YY format. Okay, so I'm just going to select the same format over here that is MM, DD and YY, this format. Let's click on save and send test request. So here in the response, we have got the date in MM, DD and YY format that is 15th of May 2022. So we have got the date over here that is 15th of May 2022. Now we are going to capture the weekday and then we will be deducting the weekday from the date. For that, click on this plus sign add action step and choose the application name as number formatter over here. Select the action event as spreadsheet formulas once again. Click on connect. And now the number formatter is connected. Now again, we need to give a formula. So I have already written a formula over here for the weekday also. For the weekday, we are going to capture the year, month, 8 minus DOW. So 8 will be the total days. So if the day is starting from Sunday, then again the Sunday will be coming on the 8th day. So this is the total number of days, 8 days minus DOW. So DOW is the day of the week. So we want this workflow to run on every Tuesday. So if Sunday is 1, Monday will be 2. Then Tuesday will be 3. So we will be giving the DOW as 3 over here. So I have to enter the same formula over here. And now we are going to capture the year first. So let us map the current date. So from this particular date, the year will be captured. Now let us map the month, uh, sorry, the current date also. So that the month can be captured. And now 8 minus DOW will be 3 over here for the Tuesday. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here in the response, we have got the result as 5. So, we have got the difference between the Sunday and the second Tuesday. So, now we have to deduct both of them. For that, we have to just click on this plus sign add action step. Here, we have to choose the application name as date and time formatter. Select the action event as add or subtract time. Click on connect. Now, we are connected. Now here we have to map the date, date you would like to format. 
So we want to map the date that we have got from our fourth step that is 15th of May. Now what we want to do with this particular date? We have to give the expression. Provide the amount of time you would like to add or subtract to the date. Examples plus 8 hours, 1 minute plus 1 month minus 2 days. So we want 5 days to be deducted from this particular date. So I am just giving the expression as minus and then I am just going to give the value that we have got from our number formatter that is 5. So minus, okay I am just removing the space, minus 5 and then I am giving days. So minus 5 days from this particular date. Okay, here we have to give the two format. So the two format will be MMDD and YY, the same one. And here we have to give the from format also. So the from format is also the same that is MMDD and YY. So let us select the from format also as MMDD and YY. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here in the result we have got the date in MMDD and YY format and the date is 10th of May 2022. So we have got our date over here that is 2nd Tuesday, 10th of May 2022. So now we will be cross checking this particular date. For that click on this plus sign add action step and choose the application name as date and time formatter and select the action event as date duration calculator. Let's click on connect. Now here it is asking the from format. So the from format will be same as we have specified the format as MMDD and YY in all the cases. Now it is asking for the first date. From which particular date you want to cross check it. So the date 1 will be our current date. And here it is asking for the date 2. So we are going to select the date 2 as the last date that we have got from our add and subtract time. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response. We can see the result years as 0, result month as 0, result days as 0 and even all the times, hours, minutes, seconds, minutes, milliseconds all are 0 over here. So there is no difference between both the dates. Okay, now we are going to apply a filter that this particular workflow should run on a specific date only. For that click on this plus sign, add action step and choose the application name as filter over here. And now we are going to select the label. So I am just going to select the label from the 7th step. And the label would be 7 result years. So if the years is equal to 0, then let's click on the or condition. If the month, so let us uh, come to the 7th step. And here in the result we have got the month also. So if the month is equal to 0, let's give one more or condition. Let us select the label as days this time and if the days is equal to 0 then only this particular workflow should run. Okay, And let's click on save and send test request and here in the response we have got the message condition is true just because the date is getting matched over here. Okay, So we have specified the date that the workflow should run on this particular specific date only. Okay, So now we want to send an email on this particular date every month. For that, I have to click on this plus sign add action step and choose the application name as Gmail. So as I want to send a mail on every second Tuesday of the month, I am selecting the action step as Gmail over here. If you want to send the messages, you can choose the application as Twilio or WhatsApp or you can use any application over here to send the responses. So let us select the action event as send email. Click on connect, click on add new connection, click on connect with Gmail. It is asking me to choose an account to continue to Pabli Connect. So I am just going to choose my account from here. Pabli Connect wants additional access to your Google account. So let us scroll down, click on continue and give up the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful and now the Gmail account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to enter the recipient email address who is going to receive the mail. So I am just going to give the address as Glasgow Ryan 058 at gmail.com and here if you want to mention the CC or BCC email address you can just give it over here. Here we have to mention the sender name. So let us give the sender name as Parker Devin. 
okay now here it is asking for the email subject so you can choose the email subject as per your requirement so let us give it as ran salary slip okay i'm just giving a random email subject over here here we have to select email content type as plain or html i'm just choosing it as plain here we have to give the email content so i've entered the email content as hi ran as we are sending the salary slips on second use of every month you can find your attached salary slip regards pabli team here i have given the file name as ran salary slip and i have given the attachment also and now let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it means the mail is delivered to ran now let's check ran glasgow's gmail address okay and here we can find the mail from parker devin and here we can see the mail as Hi Ryan, as we are sending the salary slips on second Tuesday of every month, you can find the attached salary slip, and this particular mail was received from Parker Devin. So in this way, we can see that the mail is delivered to our employee on second of Tuesday every month. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. So I'm just going to minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay. I'll just minimize all the action steps over here. as well as i'll minimize the trigger window also okay let's minimize date and time formatter the number formatter as well as the scheduler also okay so first we have applied the scheduler over here that this particular workflow should run every day then we have specified the current date over here then we have used the spreadsheet formula for capturing the date then we have formatted the date into a specific format that is mmdd and yy then we have used number formatter for capturing the weekday also and we have used the formula over here then we have uh, subtracted the weekday from the date that we have got from the number formatter okay and at last we have compared both the dates using the date duration calculator and we have applied the filter also that this particular workflow should run on a specific day only and then at last we have used the gmail action to send a mail to our employee and in this way we have created a successful automation and we have learned that how we can create a scheduled workflow inside public connect so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using public connect in case of any queries you can visit our public forum to check the pricing details of public connect you can visit this particular url Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.